From heated debates on first take to building an empire behind the scenes, Stephen A. Smith is far more than just a loud voice in sports media. He owns a production company, has a best-selling memoir, and is even in some major Hollywood films. Stephen A. is crafting a legacy that extends well beyond first take. But how did he transition from a sports journalist to a business mogul, now poised to ink a new contract that could be worth over a hundred million dollars? Welcome to FOS Explains. In this video, we'll dive into the one-of-a-kind journey of Stephen A. Smith, his rise the fame, plus the insane business strategy that got him to this level. Stephen A. Smith's story begins in New York. He was born in the Bronx on October 14th, 1967, and growing up in Queens and surrounded by five siblings, Smith's journey was influenced by the hustle of city life. He spent a year at the Fashion Institute of Technology before accepting a basketball scholarship to play at Winston-Salem State University in North Carolina. It was here, the halls of this historically black university where Stephen A. found his voice. In 1991, Smith wrote a controversial article for the school's newspaper, The New Argus. It boldly suggested that legendary basketball coach Clarence Big House Gaines, his own coach, should consider retiring. It wasn't just a small statement. Gaines was a huge figure in the college sports world. The article sent shockwaves through the campus, but it also marked Stephen A. Smith's coming out party as a fearless, aspiring journalist, someone bold enough to challenge the status quo. After graduating later in 1991, Smith stepped into the professional world of journalism. He started as a clerk in the Winston-Salem Journal Sports Department. Soon, he moved on to reporter roles at the Greensboro News and Record and the New York Daily News. But it was at the Philadelphia Inquirer where Smith truly made his mark as a journalist. He joined the paper in 1994, and over the next decade, he rose the ranks from writer to general sports columnist, which was a big deal. Smith says that in 2003, he became just the 21st African American to be named a general sports columnist. That's out of the more than 1,600 newspapers at the time. I was the only the 21st African American in the history of this country to be a general sports columnist. Starting in 1994 as an NBA writer, Smith quickly distinguished himself with a sharp analysis and fearless commentary. His writing wasn't just about the game, it was about the stories behind the game, the personalities, the drama, the stakes. His columns were must-reads, offering perspectives that were as insightful as they were provocative. But Smith always wanted to do more than just write. He had a voice that demanded to be heard by a wider audience. It was around this time that ESPN took notice. The network was searching for talent that could bring fresh perspectives and energy to its broadcast. And in Stephen A, they saw a rare combination of passion, knowledge, and the ability to command attention. That same year, Smith's career took another leap forward when ESPN came calling. His journey from the streets of New York to becoming a household name in the sports journalism world had just begun. Stephen A. Smith wasn't always as valuable to ESPN as he is today. In 2009, he actually parted ways with ESPN and briefly transitioned to Fox Sports Radio. In just two years, he returned to ESPN in 2011, and that decision became a turning point in his career. Teaming up with Skip Bayless on the debate show First Take, Smith's dynamic and sometimes controversial behavior helped him become one of the most recognizable media personalities. Even after Skip Bayless' departure in 2016, Stephen A. continued to elevate the show to new levels. Under Smith's leadership, First Take has become ESPN's flagship debate program. The show now features host Molly Clearham and a rotating cast of guests, including Shannon Sharp, Pat McAfee, Mina Kimes, Ryan Clark. In 2019, Smith signed a five-year, $60 million contract, but he made it clear on First Take in 2022. He feels he's underpaid. Stephen A. Smith has become the face and voice of ESPN, and just recently, he made his ambitions clear. He wants to be the highest paid talent at the network. With his current $12 million per year contract set to expire in July 2025, the 56-year-old is in a position to be the network's first $100 million talent, according to front office sports Mike McCarthy. ESPN management sees Smith as a team player, a term that has occasionally contrasted how they describe Pat McAfee, who makes $5 million more than Smith annually. Stephen A has commanded respect from ESPN management throughout these contract negotiations, and his unwavering commitment to keeping the network at the forefront is the reason why. Smith's name is now synonymous with ESPN's legacy, alongside legends like Chris Berman, Bob Lay, and Stuart Scott. However, rather than leveraging his iconic status, Smith has adopted a calculated approach. 
His performance speaks volumes, but why a hundred million dollars? First Take has become a morning powerhouse on TV, drawing an average of 451,000 viewers in June. That passes competitors like Skip Bayless Undisputed on FS1 by a long shot. First Take also notched its most watched year ever in 2023 with 49,600,000 viewers. And it's on a 23 month streak of year over year growth. Alongside his work on First Take, Smith also contributes to NBA Countdown, hosts the NBA in Stephen A's world, and appears on SportsCenter. He's also helped the network bring in new talent like Shannon Sharp, Chris Mad Dog Russo, and Monica McNutt all while continuing to be the face of ESPN. Think about how it must have made Stephen A feel as ESPN invested heavily in high profile play-by-play -play guys like Charlie Ankman, Joe Buck, and even Pat McAfee, shattering salary records in 2022 and 2023. Aikman's $18 million annual salary, McAfee's 17 million and Buck's $15 million all exceeds Smith's salary. But rather than reacting with frustration, the Queens native praised McAfee for pushing the salary ceiling and setting a new standard for sports media professionals. Typically, studio hosts make less than the prominent announcers covering major NFL games. This might explain Stephen A. Smith's reported desire to dive into NFL coverage, emulating his idol, Howard Cosell. Securing an NFL role has significantly boosted his value to ESPN. 2023 was full of layoffs at ESPN, but despite that, the network enjoyed its most watched season of Monday Night Football in 23 years. ESPN has also secured high profile talents like Jason Kelsey and Nick Saban and extended contracts with Shannon Sharp and Peyton Manning's Omaha Productions. With these developments, all signs are pointing to Stephen A. Smith becoming ESPN's first $100 million talent, with projections suggesting his new deal could range between $20 million and $25 million annually over five years. Compare that to Aikman's $90 million, McAfee's $85 million, and Buck's $75 million over the same period. But if ESPN's contract offers don't meet his expectations, Smith has several other options at his disposal. He could continue to grow his personal brand through his podcasts, YouTube show, and production company Mr. SAS Inc. There have been reports that he could strike a deal with ESPN's parent company Disney to succeed Jimmy Kimmel as ABC's late night talk show host, or even make a jump into politics, a possibility he talked about with Fox News' Sean Hannity. Smith, who idolized Howard Cassell while growing up on the streets of New York, has publicly said he wants to do more at ESPN beyond first take and NBA countdown. Despite his deep roots in NBA coverage, Smith has often noted that he talks about the NFL more than any other sport on first take. He's carved out a unique and entertaining niche as the chief antagonist of Cowboys fans. <laughs> How about them Cowboys? His ambition to cover the country's most popular and highest rated sport reflects his drive to be at the forefront of sports media. It may not be long before $100 million is too low of a number for Stephen A. Smith, considering how valuable he is to Disney's sports network. However, there is a world in the not too distant future where Smith isn't tied to Mickey Mouse. Instead, he may take his brand in its own direction. Stephen A. Smith has always been the star of his own show, a presence that never required the support of others. Back in 2005, he created the Stephen A. Smith Show on ESPN Radio. That's a role that he would reprise in various forms across the next two decades. Yet, each of those shows was bound to a larger network. But in 2022, Smith took a bold step into independence with the launch of No Mercy with Stephen A, produced by his own Mr. SAS Productions and Cadence 13. This venture soon switched to The Stephen A Smith Show, now a prominent fixer across podcast platforms and YouTube, where his channel has over 757,000 subscribers. In 2021, Mr. SAS Productions announced a docu-series titled Black Excellence, but there hasn't been many updates since. It's not clear whether Smith has ventured into more traditional investments like real estate, but he has dabbled in Hollywood. He took his talents into non-sports television with his first guest appearance on General Hospital in 2007, a role he revisited in 2016 and beyond. More recently, he appeared as himself in Creed 3 in spring 2023. In January, Smith added author to his list of achievements with the release of Straight Shooter, a memoir of second chances and first takes. The New York Times bestseller was not only written by Smith, but also marketed and distributed by his very own production company. Do you think Stephen A. Smith is the greatest sports media personality of all time? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you haven't yet, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more on the business of sports.